What's up, y'all? So this is a Darth Revan helmet. Like, a legit Darth Revan helmet costume. So apparently Jazzwares makes costumes now. Some of you may know this because you've seen my Instagram reel of that Spider-Man costume and a lot of y'all had many things to say about it, which is fine. But they make Star Wars costumes and they went swinging for the fences with their debut of a Darth Revan helmet. And that just so happens to be my favorite Star Wars character of all time. Knights of the Old Republic is my favorite game from Star Wars of any game, hands down. So this definitely was a must grab for me. So I'm excited to crack this open. I'm going to wear it, put it on, and I'm going to show you all the details. And I totally mean it when I say this is my absolute favorite character, my favorite game from Star Wars. I mean, I have his debut in the comics right there. I have the Funko Pops, which I'm not a big Funko collector, but I had to have them. And I also have the original Darth Malak and Revan TVC figures, as well as the Black Series. I am missing a few items. There is still a few things to display. But now that I have this helmet, I need to reorganize this and restructure all of this because I have to make room for that. All right. Big box, massive box. And just for reference... It is like 14 inches wide. So this is a GameStop exclusive, at least as far as I know. So it is $81.99 unless you're a pro member. Then it's like $79.99. You save like 2 or $3. Okay. But overall, the MSRP is a lot cheaper than a Black Series helmet. So for example, Captain Rex up there is like 130 I think, or so. But their other standard releases, like The Stranger from Acolyte, is what, like $99, and like a few other things, like 100 bucks. So this is still significantly cheaper compared to those. But does it hold up? Does it have comparable quality as well as accuracy and the most bang for your buck? Now, I don't own a lot of things like this. You know, I pick and choose the things that I want. So Captain Rex was a must have. Darth Revan for this is definitely a must have. And then they also released the Master Chief little helmet over there. So compared to the Black Series so far and that Master Chief up there, it does have an open window here, which I do like that because, you know, if you're picking this out in store and let's say the visor is like scuffed a little bit, you can see that right off the bat you know before taking it out of the package or anything like that like you can pick and choose if the paint apps look weird or wonky or anything that just looks off you can see that right away and and the number one thing is if you wanted to keep this in packaging it will display beautifully just how it is so i gotta give you a little close-up of what it looks like in the packaging and so loving the display so far i mean there isn't a whole lot of weathering that i can see right off the bat but that's okay we can apply a black wash later i mean this is only 80 dollars, so let's hold our horses a little bit we do have soft goods like the hood there is no sound effects as far as i know and that's fine i don't really need that gimmick i would rather them put the value into the accuracy of the helmet itself and like the soft goods rather than making a mechanism voice changer that I will never use. As far as the packaging goes, nothing too crazy. We do have some logoing on the side with some glossy appearance there. We do have a nice illustration or rendition of the helmet on the backhand side. But overall, that's it. Nothing too flashy. Just more of a display piece too if you wanted to keep it that way. Ooh, baby, this thing is cool. So it does not come with a stand, which is fine because it's like a traditional helmet and none of the other ones do. So I'm going to borrow Master Chief's helmet. That way I can put it on this little turntable and showcase it for y'all. One of the things that I love the most about Revan is his duality between light and dark. So his helmet is an old Mandalorian style helmet worn by a woman who was slaughtered on Cathar. He picked that up, wore it to vow to bring justice to the Cathar people because of the slaughter that had happened to them. He has worn that ever since then. Now that is not the Jedi way to bring revenge or justice upon you know someone who did a wrongdoing. But that is what I love so much about Revan. He, is, he does not play by the traditional rule book. You know, if he saw something going on, he wanted to make it right. He had a pull between the light and the dark. And 
that is why I love Revan so much is because he was able to tap into both the Jedi and the Sith, light and the dark, you know, able to wield both and within the games you can choose your path you can be you know more on the light side versus the the dark side and it was just an amazing experience overall the gameplay within knights of the old republic is or was at least way ahead of its time i mean that was a game that still holds up today and is one of my comfort games a game that i will always go back to and play if i'm feeling like i need a little bit of a rejuvenation so let's take off the soft goods this is a complete helmet and you can tell that it has that mandalorian style to it wrapped all the way around looks fantastic the quality itself seems pretty durable pretty standard to what we see within the rest of the helmets on the market i think maybe what i'll do is i'll weigh this compared to the rex helmet just to give you an idea of like the sturdiness you know of, of what they possibly used for this over the years we've seen darth revan's helmet rendered many different ways so in the beginning with the comics and then we have knights of the old republic to a funko pop black series figure tvc and even a sideshow collectible they all have a similar sculpt in common however the biggest differences seem to be the coloring at the front some areas have have a little bit more silver versus red whereas this one has more gold features i guess the biggest likeliness out of all of them is going to be the latest render we have for the knights of the old republic potential remake there you can see more of that like gold or bronze metal features at the front of the helmet when i'm looking at all the different variations of his helmet and then comparing them to this one i think overall they really did a great job on the sculpting the only thing that i think maybe they could have done a little bit better is like the visor part here making it a, just a tad bit wider. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm very happy with this. I am gonna display this in my collection, very proud, especially when you have that hood over the helmet. I mean, it just really ties everything in together. Now, as far as the hood goes, it stays connected to the helmet. I mean, you can obviously take this off the top of the helmet, but overall, it stays in place. And the way they did that is like these little buttons right here, and you push them into place, and that's how they connect to the helmet. So it does look like I could take this off if I wanted to and then like restructure the hood if I needed to or let's say it got dirty and like I was sweating a bunch in it <laughs> then I can clean it if I needed to and it says to spot clean only and don't put in the actual washing machine which is fine but you can see that they made that a little bit easier you know if you just take off these little buttons right there and it even moves all the way to the front of the helmet so that's pretty cool it lines the entire thing the material of the hood is pretty nice it has like like little ridges and grooves to it to give it more of that like robe feel it is made out of 100 percent cotton so it is pretty breathable or at least it should be anyways and just like that it is off and that will actually give you a better look at the inside of the helmet you can see on the inside we have little holes for the straps to be able to set it to whatever size your noggin is you can see here in the front we have little hooks right here to connect to the forehead and then also to the back of the head we have a whole number of different holes you can adjust it to i already have this set up and adjusted to my head it does sit forward just a smidge and as far as like looking through the visor part it's actually not too bad i mean it's not like you're looking through a car window but it does have the visibility that you would expect from just a small little window across and here's how that looks without the hood attached so you can get a better idea of how to display it if you wanted to but honestly i probably would never display it this way i like him with the hood on itself i mean it makes him look more menacing and just true to his character i attached the hood back and it was actually a lot easier than i thought and it does layer still really well so i'm gonna put this thing on i'm gonna show you what it looks like i'm gonna do some different angles and then i'm also gonna talk through it so you can see how much you can hear me all right all right let's give this a look i put on a black shirt because i don't have any robes or anything so I think that'll be the closest thing to it that way it gives you a more accurate idea so here it is on I can see straight through no problem I mean obviously my perif is limited just a smidge and I can only see from here to here so far it feels pretty comfortable I mean I haven't been wearing it for like eight hours during a con but it's comfortable there's nothing that's like poking into my head there is enough wiggle room so if you do have a big old head then I'm sure you can adjust it just fine. Now looking back at the video, you can see my eyes. So this entire visor has like a mirrored look to it or some sort of tint. But when you have it on, 
it doesn't seem overly dark. It's not like I'm wearing sunglasses or anything like that. It's still pretty visible. And you know, despite only having these small little holes right here for air, it's not really fogging up the mirror too much. I mean, I'm sure if I was really like huffing and puffing and running from booth to booth or something, then maybe I can, you know, <laughs> fill that space. But just by me like talking here, and moving around and stuff, I'm not really fogging that glass. And I know I have like my bright studio lights directly on me, so that's probably why you can see my eyes. So I'm gonna turn some of them off so it gives it more of a, um, you know, like a natural look if you're like walking around in like a, an area where it's lit above you and not like directly on your face. I'll give you a close up of this so you can get a better idea of what this like mirrored visor looks like. And then we can also see if we can still see my eyes through this visor. I don't think you can, but you know what? We're gonna find out right now. So you really can't see my eyes too well in like normal lighting, so that's pretty cool. So I wanna try something else. I have his lightsaber, so I wanna put the helmet on with the lightsaber. They do have a costume of this made by Jazzwares. I didn't buy it, it's a separate piece. Uh, I just wasn't sure if I would use it or, you know, what the quality was like. I also really wanted to see, like, what the helmet was about, if it was cheap or, you know, like, kind of funky. But, uh, I don't know. I might buy it and just try it out anyways. Or maybe I'll wait and see if somebody else buys it and see how the quality looks from there. So I'm going to put this baby on. I'm going to light up the lightsaber and just have a little bit of fun with it. See how that looks <laughs> let's do some comparisons so like i said i don't have a whole lot of these helmets so i'm basically just going to compare rex and revan so i have a little scale here I have it set to zero ounces i have the master chief stand on there to help me balance it and make sure it's nice and even so we'll start with revan definitely a lot lighter i could already tell you that and so I ended up having to turn it around, that way you can actually see the screen, and Revan comes out to be about 30 ounces, just a little bit over 30 ounces. Alright, Rex's turn, I'm going to have him facing off to the side, because I think the front will get in the way, and he is, oh man, he's double, 60 ounces, wow, that's crazy, okay, I knew he was heavier for sure, but I didn't think by double the amount. All in all, it does make sense that he is a heavier helmet. I mean, he is a bit bigger than Revan as it is. Obviously, Revan has the soft goods, so that's going to lighten it up a little bit. But there is more plastic to Rex's helmet. I mean, on the inside, you can see how thick it is, and there's just a lot going on. And then they also included the little sound effects, which I don't particularly care for. All in all, I would say the prices definitely reflect on what you are getting. Rex is obviously a more expensive helmet, and you're getting a lot more plastic. It definitely feels sturdier and a much more solid build however Revan is still made really well I mean the plastic that they use isn't that like cheap rubies co costume crap you know it's actually made really well it's not gonna like break if you drop the helmet you know it'll probably scuff for sure but it's not gonna shatter it's not gonna crack it's still made really well I do think the price definitely reflects on what you're getting here now let's say that this helmet was 130 like let's say it was the same cost as Captain Rex I would be a little bit more like turned off like okay you know what the material isn't quite as good for the amount of money that you're paying but since we're paying $80 like 30 or $50 less than what this guy is I definitely think you're getting the most bang for your buck with this and since we're here let's do measurements so from bottom to top I would say we're looking at about eh, just a little under a foot and then as far as width goes I'd say you're safe to call it eh, about nine inches. All right, friends, that's gonna wrap up this review and unboxing of the new Darth Revan costumes helmet from Jazzwares. Now, I feel like I covered as much as I could with this piece. I mean, I'm not a cosplayer. I don't wear a lot of this stuff out in like cons or like conventions or anything like that. I simply bought this because Darth Revan is my favorite Star Wars character of all time. I have a shrine and I'm trying to add as many pieces as possible. So for me, it is entirely worth it. I mean, it's $80. I'm I mean, honestly, it displays really well. If you're not going to wear it at a con, it is an amazing display.
display piece in and out of itself. I mean, if you have a quarter shrine like myself, then it's going to display so nice. I mean, you can add some lights underneath it or above it and really heighten the experience behind that entire Knights of the Old Republic like display. I mean, for example, I bought Master Chief's helmet as well as Captain Rex's and I will most likely never wear them at a con. I want to merely display them in my collection. So for me, I love what we're getting for just $80. But I am curious what the rest of this costume looks like. I mean, they have the robes, the belt, the tunic, and everything else that coincides with this character. I mean, the same price is like, I think $80 or so. I mean, if it's the same quality as this helmet, I might jump on it, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna wear it at a con, most likely. If anything, I'll wear it like in my videos or like during Halloween or something like that. But that's all I got for you. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the new and only Darth Revan Costumes Helmet from Jazzwares. It retails for a little over $80 and I will post all the links in the description below. I do feel like a lot of the Knights of the Old Republic merch is very short lived so if this is something that you want I would recommend jumping on it very quickly. Now a quick tie in to Micro Galaxy Squadron. Jazzwares if you were able to make a costume of Darth Revan can we please get an Ebon Hawk with the main crew. That is my number one want. It's never been done before and that is all I have to say. That's it. That's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this unboxing and review, be sure to like and subscribe. It does help out the channel and it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram and TikTok to stay up to date when new things drop like this Darth Revan helmet and any future drops. I also post toy photography and toy videos. Until then, collectors, I'll see y'all in the next video.